future of rock and roll, WOXY.com. We are back live at your studios in Austin, our final day here for South by Southwest. It's been been a pretty amazing week, and I tell you what, is for as, as amazing as this week has been so far, I think we might have saved the uh, the best day for last. I was mentioning earlier, uh, kind of totally tongue in cheek, of course. I said the British are coming uh, today here on Saturday. A little bit later on, we will have uh, visits by the Manhattan Love Suicides, in addition to 65 days of static. Uh, but first up, uh, let me introduce you to you from Oxford, England, making their American radio debut. Foles here at WOXY.com. Thanks. This is called the French Open.
This song's called Hammer. It's going to be on our first record in the UK in April. And it's about running, running races. <laughs> Can we open a window? time for a break then, huh? Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> We're live in Austin at Ear Studios at WOXY.com. Foles is the band. Congratulations, you guys. I've broken into a sweat for the first time this week, and it's all due to you. <laughs> Thanks. And it, has, and it has nothing to do with the weather outside. We're breaking into a sweat about four times a day. <laughs> well, how many guys have you played already? You, you played how many sets already since you've been here? I think five or six. Five, yeah. So, yeah. Something like that. Five or six? We've only got one left now this afternoon. That's it. Two. And you thought this was going to be a little bit of a, va- of a, of a holiday, right? <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's introduce the, uh, the band to our audience. Uh, Giannis on vocals, uh, Jimmy uh, on, uh, on guitar, Edwin on keys, Walter on bass, and, and, and Jack on drums. Jack, can we help you with that drum at all, or do you think you got it? Um, I'm only someone to hold it. I'll put something heavy behind it. Just, you know, okay. Maybe. All right. We'll, we'll do our best for the... Uh, uh, second, second part of the set, um, we've got somebody knocking at the back door. This is this has really turned out to be quite a quite a, quite, a, quite an active set. Well, you know what? We'll just ignore them. They'll go away. <laughs> we'll ignore them. Like, is this a drop-in center? It's not, is it? No, not at all. No, not at all. Okay. It, it, it's, it's been it RSVP qu- only. <laughs> this is going to be a very uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> It's been a it's been a it's been a long week. It's been a long week for you guys, I imagine too. First time here at uh, South by Southwest. Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, let me start uh, with a little bit about uh, you know what uh, I, I I know about the band. We what well, we've made our listeners familiar about the band. Uh, uh, rel- relatively new, is that correct? Relatively new uh, outfit, you guys? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been we haven't been together for very long at all in this format, so this is all still very new and exciting. I'm going to take a guess, guess because we've had bands in here all week long, and I, I noticed a little bit of the, the band dynamic. Did, did you guys all like meet at school, friend, friends like that, or how, how, did, how did everybody get together? Uh, it's quite convoluted. Yeah? Convoluted. we got time. Go ahead. Is it convoluted or convoluted? Convoluted. Yeah. We met at various schools and parties in Oxford mm-hmm. around, you know, that, that very hot summer of 2006. <laughs> and, uh, wow. We, we had a mutual love of that uh, magical year. Yeah, the magical <laughs> year. It's a fine vintage, I believe. But the sun was shining pretty much all day, every day. So really, it's it's happened very, very fast to you guys. When when did uh, when did Transgressive, uh, your 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 UK record label, when did they uh, uh, come around and come calling? September, October, November. Yeah, but autumn, autumn. What, what you guys call fall, yes, I think. Yeah. We, we work both ways. Um, <laughs> Was it uh, a demo or was it uh, gigs that uh, you know that they uh, that they signed you on? Uh, well, we sent them a demo that we recorded in this a bit a bit like here actually. It was like a farm outside Oxford, um, and it was just full of flies and stuff. Um, it wasn't really anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was about half the size, and like the smell was intolerable. But um, we recorded a demo then and sent it out, and. Uh, Transgressive were the most sort of ethical and the most friendly of all the labels that we spoke to, so we signed to them. Well, we've been playing uh, the demo of the uh, of, of of the song you just did uh, here a minute ago, the French Open, and uh, just to make sure our listeners know exactly kind of how fresh of a band you are, you have exactly how many official releases? Uh, zero. Okay. okay. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Want to make sure I had that right. Yeah. But that will change very very soon, correct? Yeah. yeah we've got a single coming out in a few weeks in England. Okay. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Great song, by the way. Great song. Oh, thank you. Thank you Um, very much. That's lucky, isn't it? Lucky it's good. (laughs) (laughs) Let me let me ask you something uh, about um, about South by Southwest because you know we know it here in the in in the U.S. for a long, long time. Um, But what is the reputation of this festival to to bands overseas? I think it's kind of it's viewed like it's viewed as this sort of um, quite crazy. It's I think it's almost kind of mythical. Like, because everyone talks about it just being like this one road, which is just mental, and you just walk, around, you stumble from bar to bar, and discover like amazing bands. Um, it's got, it's got a really, I think, a, a really, really good reputation for being or, like for also promoting like a really diverse amount of bands, not just all like corporate sort of industry bands, but really like you know, it's really sort of eclectic the mix of stuff you can see, and the fact there's so much free alcohol as well helps um, I think people's memory of it that's how they get everybody to come to the shows exactly. I think yeah. that par- partially anyway that uh, and free cigarettes as well that's true that's true Which, Let- you, you have to be a US citizen to get the free cigarettes though I tried to get some yesterday and they said um, I, I, I think that there's something to that we'll talk after the session <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, but, when did you guys know that you were coming over how did, how did, you, how did you feel when, when uh, I mean again here's a band newly signed no official releases, and it's like, you know what, guys, we're gonna we're gonna send you to America. What was what was the uh, collect? Well, felt very weird. Yeah, go ahead. Can I hear me? I think so. Um, yeah, when we um, when we got signed, we just kind of bugged our record label. Um, Hello. Oh, here we are. Um, yeah, we just kind of bugged our record <laughs> label, kind of almost as a joke to send us out there because they just signed us and we barely played anywhere, and it was just like. Can we go to America? And they were like, well... We're trying to make them go bankrupt. That's basically the idea. We're doing a Happy Mondays, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we just kept bugging them, and then they, um, they finally let us come over, which was very nice of them. <laughs> Microphone back firmly in hand. <laughs> you know, the, the, the way that the UK kind of unveils bands is really a lot differently here in the US because you have um, the active singles market i guess you know as you mentioned you're getting ready to do the singles and that's really not something that the u.s labels for whatever reason really mess with so much so let me ask you i mean how is your development going to play out over this next year do you expect to have a series of singles mm. leading up to an album or do you think that it's going to go straight to a full length no i think generally what happens is um 
Well, at least, I don't know, actually, but in our case, we're going to release this 7-inch, and then we've got a live 12-inch that's out, like a limited uh, vinyl of the live set, and then um, I think we'll go in to record the album, and as the songs are done, they'll, you know, certain ones will get released as singles to keep. Because, like, in England, there's so much sort of... It's so sort of heady, and like, there's, like, a new best band in the world every week that, like, record labels, in, in order to ensure that um, their bands keep getting attention, need to, like have staggered releases and like continuous releases to ensure that you know bands don't get forgotten about because you know every, literally every day in England there's a best new band so you know a supposed best new band sure sure that's a great you know what and that's a great explanation I've really never heard it like that before so thanks for uh, cluing this American into that uh, I appreciate it um, do you think that uh, you know after your experience here in, uh, in Austin you'd like to come back and uh, maybe play uh, various other parts of the US don't want to leave. It's all the. It's all the. Well, it's all the free. It's all the free beer and cigarettes, right? Oh, uh, it's the uh, the lack of a passport. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I wasn't going to bring that up, but you broached it. So. <laughs> no, I'm I'm proud. If anyone sees my canvas bag and is listening to this radio, then I'd like it back. Please. <laughs> Well, uh, you're finishing up uh, here with uh, one more show here in uh, in Austin later on today, and then you're going back uh, back home. Uh, you got a couple of dates uh, with the Young Knives. Mm, yeah, the uh, Young Knives. Yeah, good. On uh, March uh, 26th and 27th, and then uh, some more dates uh, that uh, are on your MySpace page. Very simply, myspace.com slash foals. Uh, we feel really, really fortunate. We we knew the as soon as we heard the French Open, and we knew when we were putting this together. Uh, that was the only song we needed to hear to invite you guys in. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you know, so, so we appreciate it. And we feel lucky to get you guys. Uh, well, we're lucky to be here. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, I know our listeners would like to hear some more music, so uh, okay. let me uh, back away and uh, give uh, to our audience Foles uh, live at Ear Studios in Austin or WOXY.com. Cool. This is our next hit. It's called Balloons. Is it even working? <laughs> it sounds beautiful. Right, it's, uh, 
th this is just a figure. It's a figure of music. Thanks for listening. This is our last song. It's called Mathletics. Uh, we've been Foles. Uh, you've been Austin. Thanks very much. Uh, your country is very nice. Oh! This song's about squares.
in Austin with Foles here from Ear Studios at WOXY.com. And uh, I bet you're thinking, yeah, I'd really like to see these guys live after the studio performance. Everybody out of breath a little bit, just a little bit maybe? <laughs> slightly We're down. We're fine. <laughs> well, let me see if I can get my, myself back, back up here. But uh, gosh, that was great, you guys. Thanks. Re- Thanks. Real, really appreciate you uh, taking the time. It is uh, totally our pleasure. And, and please introduce uh, uh, the 2007 version of Bez uh, uh, <laughs> uh, over over here. Brilliant. He's, he's got he's got he's got a little little bit of a uh, longer hair and a beard. But yeah. uh, come here, man. But better looking as come well. Here. Come here. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Dave. Dave. And you're like road manager, tour manager, best buddy, uh, guitar tech, professional stalker, pretty much. <laughs> stalker. Oh. Well, welcome to America. <laughs> no, it's been fun. Foles, everybody, uh, here at WOXY.com. And again, uh, online, myspace.com slash Foles. Can't wait to get the record. Can't wait to hear much more. Appreciate the set. Thanks a lot. Thank you.